How can you live stream your Riverside meetings, podcasts, or whatever you do to LinkedIn? It's easier than you think. You log into your Riverside, you go into the studio, you set up your camera as usual. And then what you have to do is you go and click on the settings and you see the tab, which is called live stream. And you choose LinkedIn, of course. You can also stream to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch and customer service, for example, Restream. So if I go and enable LinkedIn, I need stream URL as usual and a stream key. Just to say that not everybody is eligible to be able to stream on LinkedIn. So let's have a look on the criteria from LinkedIn. The criteria to create a host LinkedIn lives are audience base. You have, you need to have more than 150 followers. Um, history of, of course, going through the guidelines and not breaching them. And geography, you cannot live stream from mainland China right now. Only members, pages, and their admins that have a good standing record will be considered for live video access. If you meet this criteria, where you go is you go to this special LinkedIn live link, which is linkedin.com forward slash video forward slash go live forward slash now. You can also schedule for later. So right now, set up your stream. What you need, as you've seen from Riverside, you need the URL and the stream key. You need to pick a region in order to this to be generated. So we're gonna go and do Europe North because I'm in London. And then, and whatever region you are, you choose, get URL and then voila, stream URL and then stream key. You're gonna copy URL, you're gonna go back to Riverside and you paste the URL. Then you go back to LinkedIn, copy stream key, and then go back to Riverside, paste, and this is done. Amazing, okay. So if you close this tab, it's going to be saved. And if we go back to LinkedIn, so if you follow the steps, how to start streaming in your broadcast software, start streaming and you'll see the preview here. The problem is there's no streaming button in Riverside. So what you do when you start recording, this is your streaming button. So right now it's going to do the countdown and it's going to send, you're still not live. You're, it's going to send this stream, this preview to LinkedIn. And before you hit go live on LinkedIn, this is not going live, okay? So this is recording, yes. But if I go back, so as you can see, the preview on LinkedIn seems to be stuck. My health stream is now excellent. But what happens when we actually go live? Let's go live and see how it actually looks like on LinkedIn. The oh my God. The preview on LinkedIn seems to be stuck. My health stream is now so right now it's not stuck anymore i just went live i got a notification that i went live on linkedin and when i click on it i can see myself this is a recording of my youtube video so how to live stream on linkedin using riverside a little tip your live stream on linkedin stops when you stop recording in riverside so I just finished the live stream. I went, you know, stop going live. However, my live stream continued. So I had to turn it off from Riverside, leave the meeting and then it was done. Just to prevent you from some awkward situations. And by the way, I do have a very good relationship with Riverside. I became their collaborator. So they gave me a special link you can find it in the description and a special discount for all my subscribers and the whole of my network, my fans and everybody who's finding those videos helpful. So if you click the link below, if you want to subscribe to and use Riverside FM, use the code Nicole15 at checkout and you're going to get 15% off of your subscription. You're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm going to answer all of them.